So this is an example of how cool and powerful your spells can be. So I'm sorry, Iron Golem, but ah, oh, there we go. That is brutal. Hey, this is Chris, and welcome back to another mod review. So today we're reviewing the Ars Nouveau mod for 1.16.5 Java Edition, and it's a mod that allows you to make your own custom spells. And it also adds a bunch of other cool magical items. So let's just get straight into this video. So to get started, you want to craft yourself the most important item in this mod, which is the War Notebook. The War Notebook gives you information on all the blocks, items, and mechanics in this mod. So the way you access it is you just right click and it should bring up categories. And within these categories, you can just left click and there we go. We get the chapters. And within these chapters, there can be different pages so for example i'm gonna go into upgrades and as you can see there are two items here so we have the magical armors and we have the spell books and here we have all the information you need to know so for example i'm gonna go into spell books and here you can see the crafting recipes for all the books that i'm about to cover in the next section so you can just go to the next page by clicking over here and you can go back to the previous page by going over here and now if you want to go back to chapters you just click this button right here and it should slowly take you back so if you want to return quicker you can just shift and it brings you all the way back and there's a different way to actually use this so you can just go into the entry the in index and <laughs> what okay you know what that that accent is horrible i don't know why why the frick that appeared but here we're just going to type arch mage spell book and if you were wondering you just click on your keyboard and the letter should just appear yeah this just appears just like that you don't have to do anything and now that i've searched this up you should see that there's different categories that come up so there's the archwood but we want to go into spell books because we're searching for the archmage spell book and there we go so it gives you the page you want just by typing it and for example you can also just do manage them and it should give you information on arcane ore which gives you mana gems so here we have the spell book the spell book is what allows you to create and use your own magic spells they're pretty awesome and yeah i love their designs so let's get started so here we have the novice spell book so the novice spell book can only use tier one spells and the way you craft it is you need one book one iron shovel one iron pickaxe one iron axe and one iron sword and here we have the major spell book. So the major spell book can use tier 1 spells and tier 2 spells. And the way this is crafted is with one novice spell book, one obsidian, three diamonds, two blocks of quartz, and two blaze rods. And here we have the archmage spell book, which can use tier 1 spells, tier 2 spells, and tier 3 spells. And the way this is crafted is with one major spell book, one nether star, three emeralds, three ender pearls, and one totem of undying. So this is one of the most expensive things in this mod. I think there's a few other expensive items, but it's near the top. And here we have the creative spellbook. The creative spellbook is kind of special because in creative, it gives you access to absolutely every single spell in this mod. But let's just get started with the novice spellbook, which is what you might begin with. So the way this is used is you just right click and here are a few prepackaged spells. So you have a few forms and a few effects. So later on you can actually get more of these spells. But for now we only have these. So for example I'm just going to choose a form. And you can only choose one form so don't choose multiple. So we're just going to choose projectile which actually shoots the spell out. And we're going to choose an effect. So in this case we're going to use harm. And here we go. We have projectile harm, which is basically like a magic arrow. So that's what I'm going to name it. Now that it has a name, you can just click create and it should create a new spell. So there we go. We have the magic arrow. Now if you want to fire it, you just right click. And now that you can right click here, you, you can't actually access the book again, except if you click C. So C is what allows you to go back in the book and see the spells you've already gotten. And there's another thing you can do with this. So in this case, you can just go to a new tab over here on the right and you can just create a new spell. So for example, I'm just going to use self-harm and yeah, please don't do this in real life. So I'm just going to name it um, Yeet. Okay, there we go. We have Yeet and now we have two spells. 
So you can just go back over here or you can just choose a different spell by clicking V and it should give you radio menu. So as you can see, I'm in yeet mode and now I can go into magic arrow mode and that's how it basically works. And you can also change the color of the spell and I'll fight something later on in the mod review. So don't worry, but let's just go back into the book by clicking C. And there's a special thing over here. So here you can choose its color. Yes, this is very customizable. So in this case, I want to choose a red so it can look pretty evil. So there we go. That is completely evil. Now let's just spawn in a spider and let's go into survival. So here we have two spiders. So I'm just going to use my spell. And as you can see, they're getting hurt. But after a while, if you waste all your mana on the left hand corner, you can't use this spell anymore. So for example, I'm just going to fire this and just not stop. And as you can see, I have reached the minimum amount of mana and I can't use this spell anymore. So you have to wait for it to charge up a little bit so you can start using it again. And some other spells will use a lot ma of mana much faster. So if you, you have a powerful spell, you might probably have to wait a long time for it to almost recharge completely. And there's a few dangerous things about this book. So in this case, I have self-harm, right? So if I go into V menu, I go into Yeet mode and just go into third person and just use the spell. You can see that it hurts you, so please don't use the spell if you want to survive. And it can be much worse because there's weather effects, there's lightning effects. So you can basically just murder yourself if you use self. So please do be careful using self in this mod. And now if you were curious, the creative spell book, when you open it, has a ton of spells so it has every single spell in this mod and you can actually search it up up here which is pretty cool i think the other book can do that um i'm not sure okay there we go it, it, it really does do the exact same thing but if you want every single spell just craft this guy actually you don't even need to craft it now here we have the arcane ore so i have to give myself a pickaxe and go back into survival mode but as you can see if i mine this i get something called the mana gem and this arcane ore is actually more common than gold so let's just go somewhere in the world and i can show you guys so here we are in the ravine so as you can see there's arcane ore here there's some arcane ore over here and then there's some arcane ore over there so it is pretty common and you will find it pretty easily now once you get mana gems you might want to get a few of them because they're used in almost every crafting recipe in this mod and so is the arcane stone which is crafted from mana gems so the way you craft an arcane stone is by using one mana gem surrounded by a stone of any type so it doesn't matter it can be granite infested stone whatever you want and it gives you eight arcane stones and with these arcane stones you can either use them in crafting like i said or you can use them for decoration so as you can see in the stone cutter there are different variants of this so the one i'm currently using is the arcane brick alternative and the arcane brick smooth and they look pretty awesome you can just probably make an awesome wizard city now let's just get rid of this and there's a different thing that you can craft with this so this is the warding stone the warding stone is overpowered it basically doesn't allow any mobs to cross over and the way you craft it is with eight arcane stones and it only gives you two so let's just go to survival and let's get a creeper i'm not really sure about the creeper because it has a long range but all right let's just do it hope this actually works okay creeper you can't touch me bro you can't touch me okay how how close do i have no okay yeah um just make sure that he's not that close or else that will happen but at least it dropped uh, one of the warning stones wait creeper destroyed the other one all right uh I, I i guess that you can probably protect yourself if you were a little bit further away probably if this was around your house but to be careful with creepers because um even if they can't get close to you they'll still find a way to actually try and murder you to finish off the resource section you can get four different types of trees in this mod so they'll appear randomly in your world in every single biome 
So this is the Cascading Archwood Tree. We have the Vexing Archwood Tree. We have the Flourishing Archwood Tree. And we have the Blazing Archwood Tree. So these basically work exactly like a normal tree. So you can get the normal log. You can get the six-sided log. You can get the stripped log. And you can get the six-sided stripped log. And if you were wondering, it doesn't have patterns unless you place it on a specific part of the world. So they're pretty weird, but that's how they work. And if you want the texture always there, you can craft the six-sided one. And you can always have this texture right here without having to worry that it appears every once in a while. And if you can't tell, these patterns are awesome and they're also animated. Oh, uh, I might have gotten the wrong type of wood, but um, please ignore it. There we go, I corrected it. Now with these, you can craft the same archwood planks. So all of these trees will give you this archwood plank, which you can use like normal wood to craft different items. So we have pressure plates, we have buttons, fences, everything you could imagine. And my favorite is actually the trap door and the door. They're, they look pretty awesome, but I don't know about building with archwood. Uh, it makes it look kind of plain and um, kind of boring. So here we have the mana jar. The mana jar is what allows you to store mana and the mana will be used in a bunch of other blocks in this mod. So right now it's currently just completely empty. It's 0% full. But if you want to charge it up with some mana, you can craft a mana condenser. So the mana condenser basically just collects the souls of whatever plants are growing nearby. Oh yeah, that's a really bad description. But the way you craft it is with three arcane stone, one hopper, and three iron ingots. And this will accumulate energy from all the plants, like I've said before. And you want to place this on top of a mana jar. So first you want to place the mana jar like this. And then you just want to place this thing on top. Now let's just set the random tick speed a little higher so you guys can see how it works. So as you can see, it collects mana over time. Now let's just slow it down so it won't grow that fast. And yeah, I kind of made that machine start growing its own things. So I'm just going to get rid of it so we can actually restart this. So here we have the Volcanic Accumulator. And it is pretty cool. It has an awesome name. But apart from that, it collects energy from lava. So it will passively collect it every once in a while and it makes it a little bit more efficient than this mana condenser right here and you can make it even more efficient by using some arch wood and it has to be the blazing arch wood and we're gonna grab a mana a jar so it can start accumulating mana so i'm just gonna place it on top of it and as you can see there was some mana accumulated in there and now it's putting it in there and this will slowly start growing something called lava lilies. So these are basically just decoration. You can't actually do anything with it. Well, it works more than like decoration because you can literally just walk on lava without worrying about sinking into it. As I was saying earlier, you can just throw some blazing archwood and it should start accumulating mana in there. So I'm just going to toss almost all of them. You know what? Just have the entire stack machine. Um, okay, that wasn't the entire stack, but you know what I mean? So it'll start accumulating mana from there and it'll just start going into this machine. And also, if you have some stone nearby, it'll start turning it into magma blocks. So let me just put some stone over here and let me set the random tick speed a little bit higher. So as you can see, this has turned into magma and this one has turned into a magma block. So it is pretty cool and now I can actually walk around the level without worrying about burning my feet. And one more thing you should know, so you can actually cluster these together, unlike the mana condenser, because it'll actually give you a warning that there's another one nearby. So don't even try it with this one, but you can try it with this one. So I'm just going to place a bunch of these, and they'll start accumulating mana over time. So it's eating it in there, and I kind of wish that this one was filled in. So let's just fill it in. And there we go. There should be some lava over here. And now it should start slowly accumulating. So this is the best source. Now to the part you've been waiting for. How to craft actual spells. So here we have the glyph press. So the glyph press is what allows you to actually craft your own spells. So the way you craft this is with one piston, one block of iron, two stones of any type, and five arcane stones. So let's just use this machine. So if you want to know which spells to get, you can just go to your manual, actually the war notebook, and you can just right click and go in it. Uh, I already taught you how to use this, so why am I even saying this? So I'm just going to go in here 
and let's go to the category section. So here we have different tiers of spell. So the one I'm going to craft is called the leap one. So, I mean, the leap spell. So this launches you into the air slowly. And this is where you can actually use self. But you want to craft yourself a magic clay and a spider eye to actually get this working. So the way you craft magic clay is you need one clay ball, one mana gem, and two redstone dust. So let's just grab the magic clay and let's grab our spider eye. And you just want to right click in here and right click with your spider eye in here and it should start crafting it and as you can see the mana is slowly going from this drawer into this machine so it can actually craft the spell so here we go we have the leap frog and i mean <laughs> I, I mean the leap spell the leap spell so let's just grab a nova spell book and let's grab an archmage spell book so i'm just gonna r uh, shift right click and the spell should be in our book so you actually need to be selecting the glyph to actually use it now that you've chosen your glyph you can go in here and as you can see now there's a different effect so i'm just gonna do projectile actually no we're gonna do self leap and call it leapfrog i don't even know if any of you might remember the leapfrog um tablet thing you but you probably might not um I, i'm a 2000s kid so uh not me was a 2000s kid you know what let's just use this so here we have leapfrog and uh, i can just fly around with leapfrog and you know what happens if you just keep flying and don't stop you you just destroy yourself now there's a few other things you should know so if you start crafting higher tier spells, it will get exponentially expensive. So for example, the Marvelous Clay is crafted with one Magic Clay, one Golden Ingot, one Mana Gem, and two Lapis Lazulis. And the Mythical Clay, which is used for tier 3, uses one Marvelous Clay, two Diamonds, and two Blaze Powders. Yes, it is really expensive. And you can also just get the other higher glyphs just by crafting these so i'm just going to use the things as an example so i'm just going to grab the major spellbook going to grab your archmage spellbook actually you know what yes this is the tier three so i'm good so i'm just going to shift right click and the spell should have been added so in here you can see it hasn't been added because it's not it's a tier two book but once i go into the archmage spell book which is a tier three book you can see that it is obviously here so i can just do projectile veins and let's just use this so as you can see it creates a bunch of teeth like an evoker so let's just get this back in here and let's use some other spells um i'm just going to show you what cool things you can create with this but um I kind of don't want to do it here. So this is an example of how cool and powerful your spells can be. So I'm sorry Iron Golem, but ah, oh, there we go. That is brutal. Yeah, that was amazing and completely brutal. And whoa, this place is resistant. Um, I didn't expect it to do so little damage. And he's withering away. So you can kill an Iron Golem in one of these moves. This is, this is awesome. Um, I'm sorry, Iron Golem. I can't do anything for you. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. That was the cruelest thing I've ever done. Um, I, 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 I don't know what I just did. But wait. Hmm. I just want to try it. Um, hopefully Horsican does not hear this. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just going to try. Okay, there we go. It, it, it is pretty powerful and can probably destroy your friend's buildings. I almost forgot, so once you get the glyph press, you can craft a few things called augmentations. So this basically just amplifies your spells, it can split your spells, it can make them cover wider range, it can do a lot of things. So we're just going to use projectile and then we're going to use split. Actually, you know what, you want to actually add this at the end because sometimes it'll kind of glitch it out. So I'm just going to pick something. So let's pick lightning. Now let's click split. And it should split the lightning into two beams. So here we go. So it actually didn't do it because actually they're quite finicky. So sometimes it does not want the augmentation at a beginning. But sometimes it does. So in this case, it does want to split at the beginning. And as you can see, it splits it into two beams. But for example, if I used it on explosion, I'm just going to use amplify. So amplify basically makes the explosion stronger. Or whatever other spell that uses Amplify. So let's just get Explosion. And there we go. It doesn't create much damage. But once 
you t uh, do it again let's just take everything away and let's create and now let's put explosion at the beginning and click amplify multiple times you will get an explosion much bigger so i think you might have saw it earlier but here we go now it actually creates an explosion hey cat over there um all right um he, he's pretty much dead and also yeah i kind of reset a few things because i had a few issues during the mod review now let's just continue on now there's another way you can actually get some mana gems so you can just craft this thing called the crystallizer so the way you craft a crystallizer is with one mana gem two arcane stones and six golden ingots so this is kind of worth it because it slowly uses your mana tank to create some mana gems so let's just let it create some mana gems as you can see it's accumulating energy from the world and compressing it into one single point actually that would create black holes slowly pressing into one point and not oh, that much okay i'm just gonna grab this and this is basically how it works now i'm gonna show you a more advanced machine which is the arcane crafting thing apparatus well uh, i'm not gonna even try so i'm just gonna disassemble it so you guys can see how to actually build this so i'm just gonna destroy that i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna destroy that i'm gonna grab this destroy it and here we go so now it's completely blank and we can start using it again so i'm just gonna craft it again so we have the arcane core which is crafted with two golden ingots and three arcane stones you can just place this down and as you can see it has sparkly colors so, <laughs> you know what uh, i'm just gonna stop it so now you want to place this on top so this is the enchanting apparatus so you use four iron ingots one diamond and three arcane stones and you just place this on top so you just shift and it should start levitating there and we have the arcane pedestals so you need seven arcane stones to craft an arcane pedestal and you need eight in total and you just want to put it in a circle like this and now you have your more <laughs> your more advanced system just come back here and do not do the same mistake you do not want to place it on top of it so it's time to actually craft things with this so first i'm going to show you a really simple recipe they'll bring me to the plant section so you just want to go into your own notebook and just find it so i'm just going to try to find it so it should be somewhere around here ah there we go so mana bloom gem so we need a mana bloom so we can get a few other items in this mod so there's a few other items like these ones over here so this is what i was wearing earlier in the mod before beginning the mod review and it is crafted with some of the mana plant fibers so as you can see there's the mana fibers and let's just get to it anyway and this just looks pretty cool so i'm just gonna use my reagent so there's something called the reagent so this is what you basically just put right in the middle so i'm just gonna put it right there in the middle uh, actually you know what you actually need to place the outside things first so in this case it wants me to place it like in the shape of a sideways l so i'm just gonna put it like this and as you can see they're floating around now i can just put my seeds in here and it should start conjuring some of these gems into the seeds and turn it into magic magic seed okay no stop with the magic why am i even talking to myself i don't know you know what i'm just gonna put these over here and i'm just gonna start growing them and by the way they do give off some mana once they start growing since i'm not patient enough i'm just gonna let them grow completely so you will know that they're done growing once they start turning a little bit curly so they're not quite ready yet so i just have to wait a little bit more and they should start being ready so there we go some of them are ready but i'm just gonna accelerate the growth a little bit more and i'm just gonna stop it before it actually breaks my game so now that you have your mana bloom completely matured you can just destroy it and it should drop a few items okay it wants me to be in survival for me to actually do this so there we go so you get some of the sea mana bloom seeds back and you get some mana bloom which you can just craft into those things over there but i'm going to show you how to use it later on in the mod review but basically you just want to put this a crafting table and there you go you get mana fibers since we're in the plant section anyway we're going to cover the source berries so the source berries are like normal berries and they only grow on taiga biomes and they also do cause some damage if you go near them in survival so let's just go into survival and as you can see it starts hurting me like a normal adult berry so now let's go back into creative 
and let's craft something special with this so this actually does allow you to get a potion of mana so the mana regeneration potion allows you to regenerate mana faster and now you just want to harvest it like a normal berry and just put it inside a brewing stand with some awkward potions down here and now it should slowly start creating the potion of mana regeneration but while that's going i'm just going to try to make a spell that allows us to waste our mana much faster so i can show a better example so there we go the potion is completely done so now i'm gonna grab all these potions and i'm gonna waste my mana so let's waste our mana and as you can see it does take a while to charge up again so now i'm just gonna wait for it to charge up again you know what let's just drink these potions so i'm gonna drink this potion and i'm gonna waste my mana completely so as you can see it goes a little bit faster but if i want to actually show it off better i need a better mana regeneration potion so you can go up to mana regeneration 2 and now let's take this mana regeneration 2 let's make sure we have it and there we go we do have it and i'll start regenerating much faster so as you can see it, it, it barely wants to go down but it still goes down because i did use a lot of amplifications on this um yeah this is an excessive amount i don't know why i did it also if you wanted to know yes this does cost slowness once you go through them now to advance in this mod review i need to craft myself a dominium wand so if you want to stick around you can stick around for me crafting this so i'm just gonna craft this by using some gold ingots there some mana gems there and a stick in the middle and it should create the item we need for the next section yes we have the dominium wand uh wait dominium uh, i don't even know how to actually spell it so let's just get started so first we have a creative mana jar and now you're wondering how do i transfer it from one mana jar to another you are probably not wondering that but um uh, let's just do it anyway so here we have the creative mana jar and uh, yes this is basically an infinite mana jar that you can get creative and here we have the mana relay so this is what allows it to actually travel much further because for example if i put this tank right here let me just get rid of absolutely every single tank around this thing and now let's craft a glyph so i'm just gonna put this in here and in here and there's not enough mana to actually help this along so if i place a mana jar over here it's not gonna work so i still can't place it let me just place a little bit further just in case and as you can see it does not work so it has to be really really close and it's gonna probably be hard if you're generating ma mana really really far away now that we've gotten our reasons out of the way here we have the mana relay so this is what sends it to a new tank so the way you craft a mana relay is by using the machine over there that you saw over there and you just need one mana jar seven golden ingots and two mana gems and here we have the mana relay now you want to use your dominion wand so first you want to shift and you want to right click on the mana jar so as you can see it set position set and then you can go to the mana relay and the connections have been cleared so don't be dumb like i was so i'm just gonna right shift right click here and i'm just gonna right click over here because yes you 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 don't you don't want to shift or else you clear all the selection so here we go so a relay is set to take from that one to the uh, to this one over here yes it's going from that tank to this tank and now i can send it from over here to over here and it's sending the energy from over here to over there so as you can see the manager is sending off its mana and sending it into this tank which is pretty awesome now if you want to clear it you just shift right click and it should clear all the selections so there we go cleared all the selections let's clear them all and there we go now there's a different kind of relay so there's the mana splitter so the mana splitter will split it across multiple tanks so the way it's crafted is with four nether quartz four golden ingots and one mana relay in the middle and now this is pretty special so let me just set the position over here let's right click over here and it's going to send it from here to over here and now from here to over here so there are different things you can send it to so let's wait until it actually okay so there we go it's actually working so now we're just gonna right click over here and as you can see it'll start sending its man over here and to all these three tanks so i think that there's actually a limit because i've tried i think one more and it, it doesn't really work out wait is it splitting oh it can split into more beams than i imagined yeah it didn't work uh, that well off camera you know what i think I'm, you know what let's just leave it there because it looks pretty awesome doesn't it and if you didn't notice it is pretty finicky so 
It's probably not gonna work sometimes. You know what, guys? I'm gonna leave it up to the instruction manual because these are way too many recipes. So I basically just said the recipes for all these important items. Now I'm I'm gonna chill down on the recipes. And if you if you want to actually see the recipes without the book over there, you can download just enough items, which I'll link down in the description below. And you can just go over here and start looking through items and see which things you want to craft, which things you want to use, and etc. So and also you can just type in at symbol and then ours. And there we go. We have the entire menu of items that you can actually craft. So now let's use the scribes table. So the scribes table is pretty special because it allows you to actually inscribe spells or copy one book from another. So for example, I'm just going to grab a book over here. Here we have a book with lightning spell. So if you want to actually transfer this over, you want to place your blank book over here and just right click on here. And as you can see, it's over here. Now you want to grab your other book that has the spell on it. You want to shift right click and it should copy all the spells and please do not disturb me phone and now as you can see there should be a few spells in here actually it only transfers glyphs so it won't transfer any other spells you've made so that, that's kind of sad but um i guess that that's how it should work by the way if you were wondering why i'm not showing the crafting recipes it's because it's pretty hard to actually talk for this long so i could have made it a lot shorter if i don't actually say all the recipes and it saves me a lot of time it's not because i'm lazy it's because i, I get really tired out now there's another thing you can use so here is a spell parchment so this is what will be used in the next section which is the spell turret let's just use the spell parchment there we go and let's make a spell so we're gonna use projectile we're gonna use lightning we're gonna use fangs and we're gonna amplify it a bit so there we go and i already have a spell so i'm just gonna name it one for some reason and there we go the spell has been inscribed now let's just take it to the next section which is the spell turret so the spell turret needs a mana gem a mana jar nearby so it can actually work and this is only redstone based so if you want to give it a spell you just shift right click with a spell parchment actually you just right click with a spell parchment and there we go so it's casting that spell as you see over there so there we go it actually throws the spell over there and it should disappear because there's nothing in the way so now i'm just gonna use it again and as you can see it fires a, a, a laser beam and just summons lightning so you have to make sure that it actually touches its target so probably if you have a long chain of these you could probably just kill a ton of mobs or you can use a chainsaw style okay there we go um i'm just gonna oh okay th that was way too loud well why did i do that now we're gonna cover a few special creatures that can help you out during all of this mod review thing so this will be in the automation category so we want to get a wixie so the wixie can be crafted with this gem right here so you actually need to get this gem so in this case it wants to cast a spell on a witch what's half a heart or less okay so we can actually do this so and you also just want your cauldron right here so let's just create the spell so it wants this spell so i need to use projectile and the spell somewhere around here so here we have the spell and there we go now let's hunt down a witch so a witch has been spotted in her natural habitat she is currently under her house for unknown reasons with a cat that looks horrifying so let's just get close okay you know what i'm just gonna stop doing documentary style so there we go no no stop regenerating oh, you freaky witch why 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 okay so it's not working so let's get some instant damage this is what you wanted right witch okay so we're just gonna try to get her to have a heart oh that is gonna be almost impossible okay the witch is overpowered uh, this is gonna be pretty difficult okay so we're, we're almost there there we go so we have our wixie chart and i, I didn't really know how much um half a heart was for her so yeah you don't guide yourself by that so make sure that probably if you're using the mod that allows you to view health you probably might want to stop at around uh, i would say eight i'm not even sure but we have our gem and now you can probably just read the manual to see how to actually craft it so there it goes so you need one brewing stand 
there that's what you need so now that we have our wixie chard um wait wixie chard what, what the frick am i even saying so we're just gonna grab her um wixie charm and there we go let's just go back so now that we have our wixie charm you just want to click any cauldron and it should start summoning the energy of the entire universe to summon this tiny little witch uh, she's kind of adorable she looks like a um a chubby I, I don't know what those things are called where you just freaking shrink a character down to a size where they're pretty squishy <laughs> no that's <laughs> that sounds pretty weird so we're just gonna give her a job so the way you actually give her a job is by you ju you just click on your her quadrant and it sets a recipe so now if she has some items in her chest she should start crafting what i told her to craft so she's currently crafting sticks and there's a you might see a mess over here so that means we need to summon another guy that is over here so he is kind of summable if, without actually getting a crystal so it's this guy right here so here we have the whelp a whelp is a little derpy guy so uh, please don't make fun of him uh, i'm just gonna place him down and this guy actually requires a parchment so let's craft a parchment so this guy is kind of dumb sometimes but, but he's really really helpful so let's just make a spell for him so there's only a few spells you can um, use with this guy because some of them won't work so we're gonna use item pickup and there you go so projectile item pickup let's just put on the parchment so spell has been inscribed and now let's give him a job so yellow little guy you just want to right click on him and he should start doing his job actually i think i don't think he has enough range so let's give him a little bit more range by using uh, i don't even remember so i think it's ao so there we go we have expanded his range so let's just put this in here and let's see if this expands his range so hey dude pick this up for me okay you by the way i think you actually have to tell him what to do with it so Oh, okay there we go so he's actually collecting it now and he's being a good boy yes yeah you little good boy please keep getting the sticks and eventually you might want a transportation system but i'll get to that later because we're gonna keep covering this guy so here we have a parchment with an awesome spell so this is an awesome harvesting spell and now let's get one of these guys over here so uh whelp 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 okay the whelp won't listen to me it, 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 it i know it's dumb okay yeah don't make fun of him he's he's doing his job so now let's spawn in a whelp and he can be your farmer thanos if you want so he he sees a few things ready okay bone meal let's see if he does anything um uh, please don't embarrass me okay so i think that he might oh okay dude i'm sorry it didn't give you the spell you needed so he currently has the spell he needs and he'll start harvesting things so you might want to have some teamwork between them so they can start working together and collecting stuff so i can probably just get another one to start collecting stuff so you know what how about projectile pickup too so we're just going to summon a buddy for him by the way you can't summon a buddy and i'm just going to right click on him and he should start collecting all the items and there we go they're working together for a common goal to help you out yes this is really really wholesome now let's get a caraboom so we're just gonna grab some golden nuggets and let's capture ourselves one of these little guys so he should be around here because i've seen some of them in the forest so there might be a few around here let me just find one by the way i've only found the mobs that we're gonna cover next but they seem to be pretty rare so i think i made so oh oh there we go we have one we have one now let's let's be really really careful so we want to be careful not to scare this guy off so i'm just gonna go into survival mode just to make it a little bit more interesting so hello buddy hello hello buddy there we go do you want do you want it do you want it buddy there we go you you want it there we go now he disappeared from existence and dropped his crystal I'm not sure if he's dead or he just teleported to another realm. But he, he, he gave us his shards. Now let's go back home. So for this little guy, you want to get your dominium wand outside. So we're, we have a dominium wand. And now let's summon one of these cute adorable creatures. There we go. Hello, buddy. So you, you're going to pick up things from this chest right here. And just 
take it over there and now he's gonna take from that inventory and now we just have to click on him and he is taking this into this chest right here so he will store items over here so as you can see he's just carrying sticks oh this is so adorable yeah i have a dog so this is why i might find it even more adorable than what it should be so there we go so he's accessing the inventory and he already put the stuff in there ah oh, you're so adorable boy you're so adorable now let's just hunt down one of those little green ladies <laughs> that sounded weird um is it yoda is it yoda species a kind of <laughs> green okay you know what um let's just continue all oh, right I, I i saw her earlier so basically the way you get her to um be befriend you is just plant trees and she should drop a crystal because she's so happy that oh she just dies okay um at least we have two crystal and now this is gonna be a little bit hard because um yeah she is she's kind of um she's kind of a pain she's really pain okay so we're just gonna go over there and let's just um give her home so let's just summon her so i'm just gonna summon her and you can see if she's happy or not so you have to make sure that she's happy in her new home so let's grab some bone meal and let's make sure that we know if she's happy or not so she's currently might not be that happy so she doesn't seem to be very happy she, yeah seems to be very unhappy so you just right click on her with an empty hand and she'll tell you if she's satisfied with the the place you've given her so i'm just gonna place one of these over here and let's try to get the variety that she demands so we're just gonna place this right here and place another red one right here you know what we've placed the red one we're gonna place purple and we're just gonna keep placing a bunch of other blocks so here we have the flourishing one and i'm just gonna start bone mealing it now if you want to know if blocks will make her happy uh, you just have to find her and right click on her with a block you know what where is the block also by the way she will start collecting things once she's pretty happy um don't tell me i killed her okay there we go there she is so you just right, right click and as you can see she's very excited to have that block now you just want to plant a bunch of things and she should eventually be happy so now let's just check on her mental state so where are you well okay it's kind of hard to actually get, get her to come to you where the frick do you go, lady? Okay, she didn't despawn. She's just in a really, really difficult spot. So let's see if she is currently happy. So if she is unhappy... Oh, she's very happy. There is some diversity, but it could be better. What What? What the frick are you saying, ma'am? Okay, let's just get a few more varieties. And it, it, she should probably be satisfied eventually. Okay, let's see if she's happy now. So she is happy. She thinks her home is very diverse now that she's said that um she should start putting things in the chest so let's just wait for her to start placing things in here she should eventually do it because they actually do do it okay let's see if we can get a few of them so we can do make this process a little bit faster you know what i was the dumbest person on this planet because i forgot the manager uh, the manager the freaking manager there we go now they should start working eventually there we go they're starting to work now you can see they collect everything that you give them so if you want a few species of trees without ever having to harvest them this is the way to go and now let's see if we can get the other guy to get a little bit further so he can automate this entire process okay so he's taking things from this inventory and now we can get him to take um, things from his inventory and take it all the way over there so this is gonna probably be very far and he's not gonna really like it so there we go so he will store items here and now he should start running over here so there we go so he's gonna start running and by the way you have to make sure that he has no obstacles or else he can probably get lost so let's try to get him a little get lost okay no G get lost get lost Ugh. okay you know what there's no stopping him right now okay there yeah there dude, i'm not gonna stop him let's just let him go over there and this should automate your process so he's almost there you can make it buddy you can make it just carry it a little bit faster please so these guys are really good if you want to cover a lot of distance with an automated system so there we go so she's gonna probably start making sticks you know what we we didn't teach her to make planks uh, yeah congratulations 
you didn't teach her how to make planks so um let's make a plank oh there we go start making some planks there we go now she'll start making planks this guy will pick it up and he'll start storing it in here and you just have an epic system now um i, I guess i need to take a break before i continue now on to the weapons so here we have the enchanter's bow so you can either craft an augmented arrow of pierce an augmented arrow of if split and an augmented arrow of amplify so i'm just gonna choose the split arrow because it looks the most awesome and we're gonna use the enchanter's bow so now you want to create a parchment but you don't want to create just any parchment you have to make sure that it doesn't actually have a form now that it doesn't have a form you can just create the parchment um just grab this and let's just put the enchanter's bow on here you know what you don't even need the parchment i kind of forgot that so you just shift right click on it and it set the spell now i can just grab it back i said grab it back and we're just gonna launch an arrow so let's see what it does so let's launch it somewhere around uh, somewhere safe okay there we go there we go that is awesome isn't it this is awesome isn't it? It, it it's the most awesome thing i've ever used so let's use it on this poor innocent creature right here um okay that was a little bit intense but i just love this weapon it can fire three arrows if you use a strong enough move wait it sometimes summons three i don't know wait does it always summon three okay sometimes it does and once it does it, it just creates an overpowered explosion and that is probably a weapon that i might never stop using now here we have the casting wand so the casting wand is kind of exactly the same thing so we're just gonna place it in here we're gonna give it a spell and let's just use the casting wand so as you can see it just launches your spell just like the bow and arrow and wait i think you can actually use split on the arrow again but i'm not really sure but this is just a cool way to show off that you're a wizard and not just use some dumb book wait uh -huh. yeah the book is actually not dumb because it's a little bit stronger and uh, wait i'm not sure about the strength but i am sure about it just being more efficient using i kind of failed at what i just said but all right here we have the rune so the rune you can just inscribe things on it too wait um i'm not even sure how to inscribe so i think you just there we go invalid spell yes invalid oh okay yeah it needs a parchment so i am currently getting dumber and dumber every single time i keep going in the mod review i probably because i we get slowly tired just like every other normal human being so let's just destroy all this then we have wither knockback and how about we just give it something extra veins we need it to have touch okay i'm i'm really dumb sorry i'm currently really dumb right now so touch there is that what you want is that what you want so i didn't actually test this so i'm sorry uh, i should have tested it now Runes must have touch Aster for this is the last thing that is gonna catch me off guard. So we're gonna right click and there we go. Spell has been set. Hmm, I'm not sure if I want this. Um we'll ruin the rest. You know what? Let's just take it somewhere else. I do not want to ruin anything in this mod review, so let's take it near a horse again. No, I, I don't want to kill him, so I'm just gonna place it down over here. So let's place it down. Let's use spell parchment and let's just run it over oh okay yeah that that was kind of painful so as you can see it's completely destroyed you can't use it again you know what i have to redo this section because uh, i literally messed up so here we have the runic chalk so the runic chalk can create runes just by clicking on the ground so i'm just gonna click on the ground over here and let's actually place a mana jar nearby because it does require mana a jar to actually recharge so we're just gonna put it down here gonna put a mana jar i'm gonna put this grass on top and we're gonna use the runic chalk and use the spell parchment so there we go so it has been used and now it has been recharged because i just used that spell well that was pretty dumb okay so we're just gonna place our own right here so there we go we have placed our own now this isn't actually permanent so there we go it com got completely destroyed now if i actually use the chalk on it it shouldn't it should be permanent so there we go let's uh let's right click on it there we go just right click don't, don't shift and now it is completely permanent and i applied wither to myself didn't i you know what who cares so now if i step over this it should be permanent and it should 
be recharged by the mana jar under it. So I it kind of saved this part of the mod review because I was literally doing a horrible job. Here we have the armors. So here we have the beginner's robes. So this is the novice robes. So the novice robes just have five body armor. Now let's move on to the mage robes. So the mage robes have six armor. So you look pretty awesome in these. So I, I think I would stick with that. And you can also just go a little bit more powerful. Go into maniac, turn to archmage and craft yourself an archmage. Which will get you 8 armor and 2.5 armor toughness. Wait, 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 wait. That, that can't be possible. Holy. Okay, you know what? Um, it, it, It's near. It's near it. It's not quite there. But it is overly powered. And also you can probably make them better by just having like... Let's say the Enchanted Book of Mana Regeneration. So you probably know what that does. And you can also probably use Mana Boost. Which you can also probably tell what it does. Possibly gives you a lot more mana. So now let's just get rid of all these. And we have covered this section. Now we have a few special items. So here we have an amulet of a mana regen. So let's grab the mana regen amulet. Let's grab the Ring of Greater Discount. And let's grab ourselves a new spell. So we're going to use self leap and let's see how much it weighs. So here we go. So it wastes about, yeah, it always wastes some of your energy. But now if you actually wear these amulets or rings, you can get more powerful. And also you can actually just craft them in the machine. So let's just go and see some magical equipment. So here we have the amulet of mana regen. So as you can see, this is how it's crafted. And I think I might have gotten the wrong thing. Okay, is this... Is this the right machine? Okay, yeah, this is the right one, so uh, I'm not being crazy. And we're just gonna wear them. So, this, you can't actually just equipment, uh, equip them here. You have to go into this tiny slot over here. And there we go. You can just install of these. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot the beginning of the mod. You, you need a few um other mods for this to actually work. So, we're just gonna put the amulet. We're gonna put the ring. And if you have all of these together... You can just use spells repeatedly. So now I can really fly. I can fly without worrying that I might die. So I won't die at all. So I'm going to believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Wait, okay. Did my voice just get a little bit deeper? Probably not much. I, I, I just want to have the voice of a 20 year old like I am right now. I, I don't sound like a 20 year old, but I, I promise you I am. I can even show you my driver's license. I mean the Florida ID. Yeah. I can't drive, I'm crippled. Now here we have another special item. So here we have the belt of levitation. And I'm just going to wait for the police to be gone. So here we have the belt of levitation. And it sounds pretty epic because it actually is. So the way this works is you just put it on like in this menu right here. Let me just put it on and I have the belt of levitation so the way this works is you can go down the block and you just hit shift while you're going down the block and it should start making you float so there we go i jumped off and now i should start floating with the meditation power that i have right now so let's just go a little bit higher so we're just gonna try and climb a mountain actually we can climb these trees over here you know what uh, I, I i think i prefer to climb the mountain so let's just slowly float there just very slowly Super slowly. No, I, I can't handle this. Let's just go on to the tree. So here we go. So we're going to try to levitate a little bit higher. Go a little bit higher, sir. Sir, sir, sir. You, you need altitude. There, just, just go over there. Just go over there. This is a little bit difficult. You just have to keep holding down shift. Okay, there we go. We're, we're just going up. Please go that way. That way, please. Okay, there we go. It should start climbing. And there's not enough room to keep climbing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of stopped using it. So jump down. Let's go back up there. And let's do it properly this time. So there we go. So now I can start floating up once I have this. And I have successfully climbed the tree. And I can just go down there. And it just start floating before I get burnt. And there we go. Second attempt. Here we have the jar of voiding. So the jar of voiding is pretty special because it allows you to just throw away items that you might not want. So for example, I'm just going to place it here. I'm going to give it dirt. Um, actually, let's give it normal dirt. Let's give it some cobble and it should start accepting it. So you just shift right click on the scrapes table 
and just add the item so the items have been added now once you activate the jar of voiding you just want to actually shift right click and it should be active now that it's active you can just go and just do some mining so oh this is why it wasn't working i accidentally put amplify instead of ao so let's just go mining and let's just break all these blocks so there we go so let's just accumulate a few other things we need so there we go now we can use the jar voiding so once i'm using the jar voiding you can see it destroys everything that isn't the isn't the items let me rephrase that it'll only destroy whatever items i just gave it so as you can see it, it, it's destroying absolutely every single item even if you're not holding it it should still start destroying the item so there we go there's no cobblestone no dirt nothing it, it's just plain ev everything i want ex everything i don't want no just just leave me alone also this is a pretty helpful spell if you were wondering this just allows you to mine like a maniac except you just actually have to watch out for how you use it because yeah if you're in survival you're probably not going to be able to beam it this much i think it's getting a little bit laggy because of all those helpers but here we have the jar of light so the jar of light basically just places a light source that follows you around so here we go we have the tiny light source hello tiny light source you can just follow me so we can just go into cave and it will follow you so it slowly follows you it doesn't really oh no this brings back bad memories so yeah this is where i reviewed the Gru mod which is pretty scary mod and if you want to go watch it um you can go ahead um but uh, i don't sound like i sound right now even though i do sound squeaky still a little bit but um i don't sound as bad as it was over there now let's just get out of this cave and let's just um so by the way if you have a light source you can just right click again while shifting and it should bring it back you know what to have a smooth mod review i'm just gonna lower the render distance i did it so it can look beautiful but um it didn't work out so here we have the warp scroll so the warp scroll basically just takes you back to a previous location so for example i just want to go way over here here we are so we are right here so i just want to set a coordinate and you just want to shift right click and it set a coordinate so now this will only work once so let's just use it and i should get teleported there and there we go it just teleports you back let's see if it actually does the exact same thing in survival so there we go let's just jump off and it, it's a one-time use thing so if you're in survival make sure that you only use it in case of an emergency now let's set the location again and i'm gonna show you something really cool it, it, everything is cool in this mod but something even cooler because now you have act an actual portal so you were wondering what is this portal for uh, you can just eat this in there so please forgive me for being such a dumb person so this need to manage our nearby and we're just gonna throw the warp scroll in there and as you can see there is a magical portal so this is kind of like the end portal and whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. that makes me really dizzy by the way this will change color slowly over time but let's just take it so this is basically just a one-way portal you cannot go back to the same portal so you probably just want to walk back home or and just just write your location before leaving home so there we go wait oh that is trippy that is I, i'm really tripping it's like i just ate some mushrooms or something but yeah anyway let's just ignore it because it's gonna give me a headache if i keep staring so here we have the reactive enchantment so this basically just requires me to go back to the original advanced enchantment table thing so this has a really special crafting recipe so you need a parchment paper and then you just need to write a spell onto it so there we go we have inscribed a spell and now we're gonna grab this and let's take it to the crafting machine so we're just gonna place the parchment there the amplification glyphs over here and now let's place the sword in the middle and it shall be enchanted so it's gonna yeah need to manage our nearby so make sure that you have one and now we have this enchantment on this sword so now if i spawn in a creeper uh poor 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 creeper abuse it i mean poor poor creepers i'm abusing them so i'm just gonna have a creeper here and i'm gonna use the netherite sword and yes sometimes random spells will appear so let me just do it again and as you can see it sometimes only happens and whoa these guys are a little bit overpowered so you might uh, this might just be to fight an entire army of creepers so there we go so let's just fight the creepers and uh um it probably won't go this well 
if you actually try it in game oh no please okay i'm just gonna go away i'm gonna go away i do not want it to take part in any of that and you can just keep enchanting it further so here are kind of the other recipes so you can just keep going higher and higher and higher and you can also just uh, use the spell parchment and uh, just have it with the uh, reactive enchantment that you already have so you can basically just change its spells if you wanted to so that was it for today's video hey quiz yes horse it could worry you on the speaker system and i was about to finish oh um, about the speaker system because i want to and i feel powerful with it also, it doesn't really matter that you were finishing. Horsican, what is wrong with you? Well, it does matter a lot. Um, I, I just want you to come in survival mode. Wait, that is even more scary. Why does he want me to go into survival mode? At least he can't hear me if I'm whispering because of the mic system is pretty bad. Okay, Horsican, I'll just be oh, I'll just be over there. So let's see what he wants. So this might be a little bit scary because I don't know what he what the frick he wants to do with me so i'm just gonna go into testing room ah oh! oh frick him frick you horse again you too <laughs> oh well, well, well let's not offend each other um was that uh, that was supposed to be a harmless prank right um at least they didn't uh, lose anything i don't have anything exactly it made me laugh <laughs> <laughs> um horse again you're laughing pretty weird it's because I'm a horse, so I'll, I'll do horse noises every once in a while. Uh, okay, makes sense. Um, I'm just gonna go away so you can't actually hear me anymore. So that was it for today's mod review. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this mod review because it's literally taken me two hours and three minutes. Actually, it's gonna be two hours and four minutes of me recording this. So I've had a lot of fun in this, although it's been a little uh, frustrating on some parts because, yeah, um, I I'm, I'm a noob and I sometimes mess up part of the mod reviews, but... Can't you see how much things I've covered? So, uh, yeah, I've covered a bunch of things and that's probably why. And also, if, if you're not getting a consistent schedule, it's because I was uh, I was having a few issues. So, first off, so first off, I was hurting the bottom of my wrist right here because, uh, yeah, uh, it was on the corner of the desk and it was uh, kind of destroying all my tendons but now i just got these th new things right here that i just bought off amazon they're memory foam and joe so i am really really comfortable in my wheelchair now and I, I can probably be more consistent now that i can actually edit things without it destroying my arms and my doctor had to re-regulate a medication that was uh, lowering my blood pressure because it, the amount was too much and now it's lower and I, I i have a lot more energy now that i'm not constantly dizzy because of low blood pressure but anyway let uh, let me just stop being boring let me stop being a boring crippled man and uh, let's just end the video here so don't forget to put that subscribe button and hit that notification bell if you happen to be new to this channel and happen to be enjoying my content let's try to get to 10 likes on this mod review and hopefully you guys have an awesome day or night and see you all later bye